Welcome to Drew's Daily Diamond for Wednesday, August 28th, 2024. I am Drew Martin breaking down the slate of games. Let me know in the comments below what your MLB picks are for today, where you agree, where you disagree. All is welcome. Smash that like button if you're liking the content, guys, as we got primetime games, West Coast games to get into starting off 640 Eastern time. The Queen City, we get the Oakland A's in the Cincinnati Reds. We get Osvaldo Beto on the hill for the Athletics. No number out just yet. I hate to do this to you two shows in a row, but the reason I wanted to talk about this one, guys, is Beto, their starter, last three starts, 3-0, and 17 innings, five hits, just one earned in his last three starts, 95, 96 miles per hour, 17 strikeouts, bet on only pitcher for us. He's up against the big red machine. They haven't been a big monkey money printing machine by any means i know the a's have lost a a few games in a row here but uh beto is bet on only for us so first game up in the queen city no number out just yet but we should get a good one here it's the athletics over the reds all right next one up five minutes later 6 45 eastern time nation's capital washington nationals new york yankees 6 45 eastern carlos rodone Versus McKenzie Gore. Battle of Southpaws here, guys. Total of nine, minus 185. That's the Bronx Bombers as the road favorite. They come in, you know, tops of the AL East, what, 78 wins on the season. They've been great on the road, too. We've talked about it. Uh, the Yankees, what, 42 and 25 outside of Yankee Stadium. They've won five of six. And Rodone on the hill. Um, I think I talked about it in his last start, guys. Two of his last three starts blanking the opponents zero earned in those two of three he added a change up to his arsenal and he's been a lot better and you know finding change in sports betting in my opinion it's the best way to win so him changing his arsenal looking to be betting on Rodon. he's up against Mackenzie Gore you know a guy that came in with a a, a lot of flair he's been okay recently but really over the full course of the season over a four or five ERA also, last year versus the Yankees, it was the last time he saw him. He only lasted four innings, giving up six runs and two bombs. I think this Yankees lineup is going to get after him. Number one lineup overall. They haven't been as good against Southpaws, but lately they've been a lot better. So, um, yeah, guys, that's putting us on the Yankees here. Don't want to lay the 85 cents. They're on the road. I think it sets up great for Yankees minus the run line here. Get a good number on that. Rodone and the Yanks over Mackenzie Gore in the Nationals by the run line. Next one up, we'll head to Minnesota for the Twins, hosting the Braves. 740 Eastern start time here. Great pitching matchup. Chris Sale going for the Bravos. David Festa going for the Twins. Seven in the hook being the total. Minus 135, that's the Braves as the road favorite. They've been playing great baseball. Now, what, 11 games over 500? They've won four or five, seven of nine. And Chris Sale on the hill. Um, first off, I mean, Festa is six six. Chris Sale's, you know, as tall as they come. This is the tallest pitching matchup of the night. But Chris Sale, no more than two earned runs in any start since June first. He's fourteen and three on the season. One hundred ninety one strikeouts. He's had ten plus strikeouts in three of his last four times out. He's a bet on only pitcher for us. He's up against Festa here, and I was looking at the under. It's seven and a hook because. Festa has been a bet on pitcher as well, but I don't know. I, I He's been pretty good of late. He got blown up in his first two starts this season. He's a guy that doesn't go very deep. I mean, he's pitched 36 innings. He's got 44 strikeouts. Those are great numbers. But, um, you know, of late, he, he's given up a couple crooked numbers. So I think this Atlanta Braves team can get to him. I mean, they've been playing really good baseball. It's, it's a tough one because Minnesota is good at home. They're 12 games over 500 at home. I was leaning towards the under, but, you know, at that seven and a hook, it gets a little bit tricky. Instead, I'd lay the 35 cents here, listing Chris Sale as the starter. We'll go Braves over Twins in this matchup. All right, next one, we're heading a little bit out west here, a mile high, Colorado Rockies, Miami Marlins, 840 Eastern time. It's Max Meyer versus Kyle Freeland, minus 130. That's the Rocks is the home favorite. 10 and a hook being the total. Marlins come in, what, 47 and 84, about similar record as the Colorado Rockies. The thing here is they actually same, share the same profile in terms of their, their, their road. I mean, they've just really struggled on the highway. The Marlins, 22 and 40 on the highway. They've lost six of seven overall. 
I'm looking to fade the fish, guys. And this is uh, coming from a lifelong Miami Marlins fan. Whereas the Colorado Rockies, 49 and 83, a miserable season overall, but they're just three games under 500 at home. This could be a team that, you know, what loses up maybe a hundred games, but yet they go 500 at home. How crazy would that be? I mean, they're 19 and 50 on the road, but the thing about betting the rocks tonight, they are at home. So, uh, Hey, if you're looking to get on them, maybe that's a shot here. I don't love laying prices with the Rockies just because overall I, I like betting co on Colorado when they're at home and getting a plus price in this situation. I actually want to go after the total here. First off, the starter for the Marlins, former first rounder out of the University of Minnesota, the former gopher, Max Meyer, I mean, potentially could have a great career. The The only problem is he's dealt with so many injuries. He, he's actually only pitched in six MLB ballparks. So he hasn't even pitched in Coors Field yet. And he's got a 5-5 ERA, a 5-5 FIP. This is setting up for him to, to really get smacked around by the Rockies lineup in the thin air. And looking at the Rockies starter, Kyle Freeland, he's been knocked around in his last four starts overall. He's given up as many runs as he has innings completed in the month of August. So it's not like the Marlins or the Rockies lineup is all that great. But, hey, it comes down to the dimensions. You know, where are we playing? Coors Field and two starters that have not been very good. The Marlins bullpen, you know, they traded a lot of pieces. The Rockies bullpen by almost all the metrics are the worst bullpen in baseball. So, hey, we could get some uh, late inning heroics as well. 10 in the hook as the total heading into the overnight market. Let's go. Miami Marlins, Colorado Rockies, battle of 1993 expansion teams up and over the 10 and a hook. One game left, guys. A reminder, if you could comment below, it helps out the algorithm. Smash that like button as well. Let me know what your MLB picks are, uh, where you agree, where you disagree. All is welcome. And as we get into football season here, if you want to hear some uh, football picks, let me know. Or if you just want me to keep it to baseball, trying to decide where to go with the show. But do appreciate everybody commenting, watching, and smashing the like button. Premium picks available, wagertalk.com, all kinds of specials, guys, as we got NFL, college football, and MLB going. All right, let's talk about the last matchup up. 940 Eastern in the desert, New York Mets, Arizona Diamondbacks. Luis Severino going for the Metropolitans. Eduardo Rodriguez going for the Diamondbacks. Minus 130, that's Arizona as the home favorite. Eight in the hook being the total. Interesting situation here, guys, because I'm talking about the Wednesday card, the Tuesday card. Uh, at least the night slate has not actually started yet. And this is interesting because Eduardo Rod Rodriguez, we actually broke this game down on yesterday's show and his start got pushed back. They actually switched starters. Uh, Brandon fat is actually going to go Tuesday night. Eduardo Rodriguez on Wednesday night. And what I like to do as a sports better is usually something's up. Like watch both of these two starts. I will be in terms of looking for why they made this switch. Is something wrong with one of them? Is one of them sick? Things of that nature. That's usually an angle where I've had success in the past. But talking about Rodriguez here from what we do know, the 31-year-old Venezuelan, four ERA, four fit on the season. And he's up against the Mets lineup here that has smashed lefties. It's the same type of profile we were looking to bet on last night's game. But the Mets starter does switch here. It's now Luis Severino going, 30-year-old Dominican-born pitcher. Great number. Last two starts, he's 2-0, and 14 innings, just one earned, given up combined in the last two times out i'm looking to bet on severino looking to bet on the mets here nothing against the diamondbacks um I, I i they're a profitable team overall you know likely heading to the playoffs but in this situation guys i think there is a little bit va of value here on the on the barking dog plus 120 risk 100 to win 120 that's on the mets over the diamondbacks in recap we got the miami marlins colorado rockies over 10 in the hook the Braves, minus 135, listing Chris Sale as the starter over the Twins. Yankees, minus the run line over the Nationals. In the first game up, we're looking to be on the Athletics over the Reds. Drew's Daily Diamond checking out for Wednesday. We'll be back on Thursday. Smash that like button, comment below. Thanks for tuning in. Cash those tickets, guys.